Hi guys, just wanted to put up a quick video. Uh, there's been a few requests for this, just on the, on the basics of how to set up your Nikon uh, Key Mission 360. So it's something that um, wasn't easy to do at first, and um, I ran into a few issues, um, and the instructions are not great for it as well. So hopefully this video will, will help everyone else out and make sure we don't get the same problems I do. So uh, let's start off with uh, step one, which is getting uh, the SnapBridge app, um, and this is something that I struggled with uh, at first, and then realised what I'd done wrong. And I think some other people are struggling with this. So Nikon actually have two SnapBridge um, apps in the App Store. This is on iOS. Um, I'm sure it's the same on Android. And uh, you have to go with the SnapBridge uh, 360 slash 170 um, app. And I think actually there's a, um, a quick kind of link on, on instructions. I think that goes to the wrong one. Um, so just make sure you don't have just the, the normal SnapBridge app, but the SnapBridge 360 170. I don't know why they didn't call it something totally different so people didn't get confused. But um, yeah, here you go. So download, um, download this. Now to, uh, to get started and um, yeah, open up the app and um and now try and connect uh so yeah hit, hit connect on the on the app there and um and then turn the camera on if you haven't connected in the past um you should go straight into this if you have uh, you have to press down the button for seven seconds and you know it's going into pairing mode when the two lights come on they flash and then they turn on and off uh, side by side you can select um the the device so um, here it is, and then it goes to the so blue, blue, Bluetooth selection uh, thing. You wait for uh, the device to appear. There we go. That's a key mission. Uh, select that, and it's fairly straightforward. Yeah, so that should um, that should work. And um, if you are having troubles with that, you tried connecting once or twice. Um, just uh, make sure you forget the device, and then then go. So here you go. Uh, there's lots of different options um, on the app. So there's only a few that you can actually do in uh, Bluetooth. Uh, so camera settings is uh, one of them, and then also the remote options. Remote options, I think, is for a future remote that they're going to bring out. And camera settings um, allows you to, to do a few things like set. Um, uh, a few, you know, whether it's going to play sounds or not, but then also uh, what type of shooting. So um, here I've already changed it to, to do time lapse, but yeah, you could change it to be standard um, or um, some of the other options that they have. And um, yeah, so you can deal with that over the Bluetooth part of it. Um, however, to do uh, more with uh, with the app, you have to. Um, to connect through Wi-Fi as well, so it's a bit of a fiddle having to go through Bluetooth and Wi-Fi, but to be able to use the remote photography uh, or to download apps, although remote photography you can do the settings in the camera setting area of Bluetooth, so meh. Um, but yeah, the important thing is actually is to make sure that you know what the password is for Wi-Fi. This isn't in the instructions, so you can see here I've gone down settings. Um, and then under Wi-Fi settings, it tells you what the password is, which I think is the same for everyone, which is uh, Nikon Key Mission. Um, so that's important later on when you try to connect to the Wi-Fi um, and use the password. Uh, that took me quite a while to, to find out. So, yeah, if I try and select the remote photography or download um, uh, things, it, it makes me uh, connect to uh, Wi-Fi. So I have to go up to... Um, if it doesn't automatically do it um, to the Wi-Fi because I'm already logged in the Wi-Fi in the hotel that I'm staying in um, I have to go and select um, KM360 and then uh, whatever will be the name of the Wi-Fi um, connection at this point uh, you'll have to put in the password I've already connected so I don't need to put it in but um, that's why you're looking at that password earlier so now with the Wi-Fi connection, you can do the remote photography, which means that you can view um, what is going to be shot. Um, the video actually disappears when uh, it is shooting. Uh, you can't read anything of the app when it's shooting. Um, or you can download um, from uh, the camera directly to your, to your phone, which is 
which is good. Uh, it's only good for stills, uh, video. Um, I don't know what it is, but it's so slow um, that it's pretty impossible to download video onto your, to your phone. Definitely, um, you know, plug into the computer to, to download videos. But, um, but it's okay for downloading images. So here's one. Um, I'm in Malaysia at the moment, and um, here's a, a test of just how long it takes to download the full quality image. It takes a little while, and while it's downloading, um, you can't do anything else with the apps, and none of the controls work while it's downloading, which is a little bit infuriating. Um, but for, for photos, it really doesn't take that long to, to, to download um, onto your phone. And yep, there we go. So that's downloaded now. And go back, and um, the weird thing is, um, see so at the bottom, you also have the option to go and view the albums. Uh, what's been downloaded that doesn't show that it had actually been downloaded, even though I know it has been downloaded to the phone. So, anyway, um, that's about all you can do with the app. It's hopefully going to get uh, some updates because there's not very much to it. Uh, however, if you use something like um, Roll World, which is a, a great uh, free well free for most of the functions um well for 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 pictures anyway um app in ios um i think it's android as well um you know you can do things like tiny planet and um and some other things so yeah in robot you just select the image you want to uh, manipulate um it does the seamless joining into um so a tiny planet, and then you can you know play around with it, heart content, um, yeah, and, and it's really a uh, good easy program to do some some uh, some nice kind of manipulation of, of 360 um, photos if you want to um, do that kind of thing. So here we go, um, just a tiny planet. This is me um, outside the Petronas Towers in uh, Kuala Lumpur the other day. Um, and yeah, you get some pretty cool, interesting uh, shots out. So I definitely recommend this app. Um, it's what I use. Um, it's like, I think it was an extra dollar to, to be able to do all the functions, which includes video. Um, yeah, and just gives you an extra few options to do some interesting stuff um, that the, the Nikon uh, app doesn't give you the uh, features for at the moment. Um, yeah, so that's that's how to connect and, and basics.